All right, hey everyone, Riley here from becominganelectrician.com. In this video, we are gonna be looking at how to splice four wires together. This is a question I have received a couple times from you guys, and that's what we will be looking at here today. Now, before we get into splicing wires, there's a couple things that you need to know, especially as an apprentice electrician. The first thing is that you need your hand strength and um, when you splice wires, you are actually working like your thumb and your fingers, and it really works unique muscles that you usually don't work in normal life. And so you have to acquire this hand strength over time being an electrician, okay? The second thing is if you are struggling to splice your wires together, just strip your wires a little bit longer. It's going to make your splices a lot easier. Uh, the third thing is when we are splicing our wires together, at the very beginning, we are just molding. We're gently kind of trying to form that braid. And then at the very end, that's where we are squeezing tighter with our pliers. And then we are cutting and then putting our moret on or our wire nut, okay? In this tutorial, I will be just using number 14 wire and I'll just be uh, splicing all four of these together. These are my favorite wire strippers, which I just did in the previous video. These are yellow tips, either by Greenlee or Klein. These are really awesome. And then these are my favorite pliers for, you know, when I was an electrician. These ones are the hardened steel, the 2000 series. Again, I'll leave a link uh, in the video. Or again, if you are on the email list uh, for this wire splicing series, and I'll talk about that in just a moment, uh, you'll receive all these links, all right? So let's get into this video about how to splice four wires together. And before we do, again, I have a free wire splicing training. You could just go to becominganelectrician.com forward slash free and you will see the wire splicing training. All you gotta do is just sign up with your email and I'll send you one email a day about how to splice wires as an electrician. A lot of the stuff we have already covered I just want to now focus on how to splice four wires together, okay? So the first thing is, as you can see, the wires are kind of a little crooked, if you want to call it that or something. And we're just going to kind of um, kind of straighten them out just a little bit. Just going to make it a lot easier. Um, another thing too is when the wire is loose like this, it is much harder to splice. Whereas if it is in a box, it's it, it's a lot more stable. It's a little easier to work with, but I made this longer so I can bend it. And then when I'm doing my splicing, it's going to hit my uh, wrist so I can kind of practice a little bit better. So just keep that in mind, okay? All right, so imagine these wires are coming outside of the box. The first thing that usually we do is uh, it's nice to kind of cut them all the same length, okay? From here, now we are just gonna strip them. So when you're first getting started, you might just wanna strip one at a time. As you start getting more advanced, uh, you can do the double strip technique and um, these yellow tip ones. I know that number 14 is right in the middle. So in the, uh, for the case of this tutorial, I'll just make my wires a little bit longer, okay? And then I always show you guys, if you do put your fingers at the very end, you will notice that I can hold my wire strippings. And if you are in the finishing stage, you, you know, sometimes you don't want things falling on the ground. Um, so for example, like even if you wanna cut your wire, so watch this, if I cut this copper wire, you can hold it and that way, cause this little copper piece, if it goes on a countertop, um, it can destroy countertops, right? So you gotta be really careful in the finishing stage. Okay, so let's strip these other wires here. And yeah, so the hardest thing when we are stripping these or um, splicing these wires is a lot of times the insulation goes underneath and stuff like that. And so I'll show you how you avoid that stuff. Okay. Again, it's hand strength as well as stripping the wires longer. If you don't have the luxury of stripping the wires longer, like I'm doing here, then um, sometimes it is, it is quite tricky, right? And it all comes down to technique. Now, in regards to the positioning, like, you know, should you be crossing them and stuff like that? Um, I don't really have a preference. It's just really kind of making sure that we get that braid right at the beginning. That's the most important thing. And then we're trying to uh, get that braid outwards, okay? Usually you wanna treat things always like they're live, but if you are in the rough in stage where you know that nothing is live, then you can be, you know, you can kind of hold your stuff Okay, so as you can see, I'm getting them all ready just with my hands, make it nice and easy. As you can see, those wire ends are pretty close. And um, what you can do also, even with your um, pliers, is you can even push here a little bit. So, you know, you can see, I, okay, I can kind of push it in. And the goal is we wanna kind of get these wire ends, um, the insulation all lined up. 
So like, let's say we can kind of push that in. Don't be super, super intense with it. But as you can see, that's a really good starting point. And I start at the base, okay? And as you can see, I'm kind of, with my hand, I'm just kind of going like this, and I'm just gently molding around. Um, again, I'm just going to keep pushing this down, trying to line up those ends, all right? So it's kind of like that. Um, again, we should be able to splice this pretty quick on a job site, right? Uh, and as you can see, I'm kind of working my way out. So I'm trying to get that braid, and again, this, this splice is not complete. We just want to make sure that we're getting that braid right. And again, I can kind of push back still. You know, the biggest thing is we want a nice clean splice so that when we put that wire nut on, it's going to go on nice and easy. Okay, so again, we don't want to spend too much time, but now I will finish the splice, okay? All right, so I'm going to go from the very, very end now, and that's the splice that we're looking at. Looks quite good, all right? And then again, I've shown you before that when I cut my um, wires for my wire nuts or my morettes, uh, you just put it in this way, okay? And when you cut, this is like the perfect length of, you know, for the wire nut. Uh, as you start going into bigger sizes of wire, you might want to leave just a little bit of space there, you know, because when we go into um, red morettes or big blues and stuff like that. But in this case, I'm just going to cut about this length. And again, making sure that we're not cutting this way, because you are going to cut off your splice totally. You want to um, kind of just go like this, right? And so I'll cut around there. After the cut, we do usually want to round off our edges because these are sharp and it's going to make it a little bit harder to go into the wire nut cleanly. So we just kind of gently round it off and this will go into our wire nut, okay? So here is our wire nut. Uh, again, um, what's coming up in the video, you'll, uh, I'll talk more about this, how it's stretching. Um, but I'm just going to put this on right here. I had to redo this video. It kind of got blurry when I was doing my splicing. But there you guys go. So that would be your splice. And again, when you are tightening this down, it is kind of um, also tightening these wires here, just kind of holding in uh, this all together, okay? I think I did this in the previous splicing tutorial. Uh, but as you can see, if you tighten your wire nut too much, it does stretch it. And, you know, that is not good, right? So we want to be careful on how aggressive we are. Because a lot of times if you make this too long, you know, you're always trying to tighten it down further. And then that's where this can um, start stretching. And like I said, I have seen someone uh, tighten this down so much where the copper wire did go out the end. And again, when it's inside of a box, you know, then you're able to kind of fold your wires. And I'll just also explain that with you. So when we are uh, in the finishing or in the rough in stage, we want to prepare for the finishing stage. So if we had a bond on the left okay so we want to put the bond on the left we put the neutral or like the white in the middle and then our hot on the right and then a lot of times you can just kind of fold your wire like this and then you can kind of fold it over right stuff like that uh, some journeymen have said to me that they always like to have their um, morettes up because sometimes when you do tighten these they can be you know they, they can become loose they can fall off so sometimes it's like best practice that um if your wires were coming down in the box, you just kind of want to like maybe fold it up once or whatever. But again, make sure when it's in the box that it's pushed in pretty deep because the drywallers, when they come and cut their holes out with their um, router bits, right, they will nick your wires if you are not uh, far back enough. And if you're, you know, if you didn't leave slack, they're going to nick your wires. It's going to make it really, really hard you know, if your wire is too tight. So that's why we always leave our service loops and that's why we're always pushing our wires in the back of the box. All right, so again, um, just to recap, so just for you guys to know, I have a free wire splicing series over at becominganelectrician.com forward slash free. You can see the wire splicing series. In the very, very beginning, I talk about how to remove the jacket of the wire, how to strip the conductor and how to be careful with it because like I shared before, um, if you splice or if you strip the conductor, you know, this was a very clean strip, as you can see, right? We are, we haven't scored it, but if you do score the conductor, because like what happens is sometimes, depending on the manufacturer of the wire, sometimes it's really hard to get the insulation off. And so what you'll see sometimes is people like they're really, really aggressive trying to get that off, especially more for like single conductor, like R90 on like a, a commercial site. Sometimes it's a lot harder to get off. And um, like I was trying to show you before is sometimes if it's really hard to get off the, the trick, well, first of all, as you can see, it's kind of um, 
it's kind of bent a little bit. That's going to make it harder to strip, like if I strip behind it. So the first thing is you want to try to straighten it. So I'll do this. Um, and then if you can't get it off, again, you can just take your pliers and you can just pull it like this. And that, like I said, this is a tried and true technique. And even sometimes you are in situations where, you know, if you ever have to work on live stuff, that is a really easy way to do it. You just strip like this, boom, right? You create your score or like, uh, you know, you kind of break the insulation and then you can um, pull it off, right? Okay. Again, don't listen to anything I do in my videos regarding working on live and all that kind of stuff. Um, but what I want to share quickly before we leave, like imagine you use like a, the wrong size or you were very, very aggressive on it, which I've seen so many apprentices do, right? We start scoring the wire just like that. And when this happens, what you'll see is when we go to actually bend the wire. And again, I like to show this in each video because sometimes you might not finish the other videos. Uh, it just breaks so much faster compared to a clean strip, okay? So again, to recap, if it's a clean strip, it takes a, a lot longer to break as soon as you start scoring that copper by being aggressive on it it breaks a lot faster okay all right so again i talked to you about you know hand strength uh you can strip the conductors longer uh to make your life a lot easier uh a lot of times i'm working from the base then i'm working my way out you know you want to get that braid and then you kind of work the braid out if the um insulation ends like as you can see here, let's just look at this one. You can kind of see that, uh, you know, some of them are maybe dipping down just a little bit. So again, what you do is you just get your pliers and um, you just kind of push it down a little bit. So this video was about how to splice four wires together from an electrician's point of view. This was number 14. So it's a lot easier once you go up to number 10. Um, again, that hand strength really comes into play as well as the technique and stripping the wire longer. Like for example, if you are working on emergency lighting, but also keep in mind with the bigger wires, um, we are using different types of morettes, right? So sometimes you don't have to cut the wires as short, um, but again, when you strip it longer, it just makes your life a lot easier when you're splicing. All right, I will talk to you guys in another video. Leave comments below if you would like to see a certain tutorial on a certain topic. You guys have also mentioned how to splice five wires together. That video could possibly be coming soon, as well as you know stranded wire and stuff like that. So again, just leave your questions below and when I have time, I will try to either create a video or an article over at becomingelectrician.com. I'll talk to you guys in another video.